Okay, for the second part of this little tutorial, we're going to show you how you can enhance your Ruby GUI we made in the first part in uh, less than five minutes. So here's the project that we uh, already made. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some control using an Xbox games controller. And if I just search for the Xbox controller module, uh, there it is. There's a couple of little things we need to add. Uh, one is called after load and what this does is send a little trigger to the Xbox controller to switch it on uh, when the program starts. Uh, we've had an LED so that we can see that our controller is actually connected. Uh, I've plugged it into the PC, uh, we just need to connect to it. So if I press Z on the keyboard that gives me a little trigger module and now, now connected to my Xbox controller. If I create a couple of sort of float windows and now if I move my left thumb X and Y you can see the numbers change and from the Xbox control you get minus one zero and plus one in both directions um, so we can now connect that to our uh, Ruby module and we can use that to manipulate our bitmap around so I'm going to create two new inputs I'm going to make them float okay and I'm going to name them X and Y. Okay, I'm going to wire those up to uh, to here. So that's the X one, that's the Y one, and you can sort of bend these wires to make it a little neater. Get the idea. Okay, so now I can use that um, variable directly in here. So I'm going to write a little code. So at X. Now I'm going to add 1 to it because it goes from minus 1 to 1, so it's a positive number. Um, and I'm going to do the same here, at y plus 1, and same here, at x plus 1, and at y plus 1. Right, now if I move my little joystick around, you can see it's manipulating the sprite. Obviously, it's only going. Uh, a small amount so what I can do now is I can scale that by multiplying these by a number and I'm just going to put that in brackets and then just multiply those by uh, 10 uh, this could be a constant or a variable um, but I'm just going to type it directly in for this exercise Go, almost done. Okay, so now if I move my joystick, you can see I can move my sprite round in real time. See, so it's really quick. Um, final thing I guess you, we should do is get rid of this little button, and I'm going to use uh, one of the outputs of the Xbox controller. So, button A is now going to control our sprite. So, if I press the button, you can see its eyes change on there. So, now it's almost the beginning of a computer game where ready to move our sprite then we go to the top level and you can see we've got our LED to show, show that it's connected to the Xbox controller and we can manipulate this around on screen we can then simulate that or we can go and make any XE um, I'm going to call that Ruby GUI uh, Xbox ok I'm going to create that now and this will create an application that you could distribute, sell, give away, um, whatever you like. OK. So it's going to run that for us. OK, so here's our running EXE application. You can see that because the Xbox controller um, is an HID device, it can have multiple programs accessing it. So both our programs are working real time, which is a bit weird, but there you go. get the idea. We can um, save the flowstone one and uh, clear that out and bring that up so it looks a little more realistic. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial.